in this session we are going to talk about activities activities are a kind of transaction however you can see activities as a lighter form of a transaction with fewer details activities in a business sense may be telephone calls customer visits general tasks or appointments there are essentially four different types of activities uh, within CRM these are appointments interaction logs emails and tasks however from a technical point of view there are only two major categories of activities these are business activity that contains information about the interaction with the business partner on a particular date or a task which contains information about the activities that employees have to complete by a certain date activities are used to record business activities and tasks such as activities that are carried out on behalf of the company which could be for example a sales visit or a service visit to the customers premise etc structure wise an activity must have a partner a start date and a finish date tasks are normally used when you need to create an activity that is not associated with the customer task can be public or private and can cover for example things like a customer presentation or even a reminder to buy a birthday card for example if you mark a task as private it cannot be viewed by any other users the category which is assigned to the activity determines where this activity can be created within CRM for example category type incoming call is assigned to the transaction type outgoing phone call the class interaction log is assigned to the category incoming call the CRM application displays the transaction outgoing phone call if the employee chooses create and then interaction log follow-up activities you can copy an existing business transaction and use it as the basis for a subsequent transaction this can be done in two ways you can create a follow-up transaction or you can copy a business transaction in this case the system creates a copy of the transaction currently in use and displays it for processing when the copied transaction is saved the history transaction history is not updated that is the copied transaction has no connection to the reference document for activities copy control customizing is not required to create a follow-up transaction when you copy an activity the CRM system produces a copy of the activity you requested and displays it for processing the transaction history is not updated one of the interesting applications of activities is the survey that goes along with the activity this survey has questions that the company's agents can ask the customer and based on the answers from the customers uh, 
collectively an analysis can be done over these questions to for example decide the marketing plan for the next one year for the company the questionnaire in the activity is based on the survey tool which is a tool used to create the survey questionnaires may be used for example in the following situations uh, your telephone call agent can call a script that leads him or her through the conversation with the customer it can be used as a customer feedback form or it could be used for a sales call report for the sales employees questionnaires are not specific to activities alone as they can be used for leads and opportunities as well activity journals activities as standard do not have the concept of a line item so if you wish to introduce some information regarding a product in an activity that is done by using activity journals however these go beyond the product because the information may or may not be product related the activity journal could have information about say the position of products in a store for the retail industry they could have information about customer feedback uh, as well the information collated via activity journals can be used for example to track the distribution of samples given out in the pharmaceutical industry information can be used to analyze sales data or simply to track the progress of your sales team to enable activity journals to take in the product related information in activities there are some customizing activities that need to be maintained which we will have a look at soon another interesting feature we find in activities is the integration of the calendar the groupware integration a prerequisite is that the CRM replication tool must be installed on each PC locally in CRM 7 there are two groupware solutions that are supported first one is Microsoft Outlook and the second one is Lotus Notes Domino the CRM business activity must be assigned to a user all SAP users must also have SAP office and a user in the Outlook calendar the integration is server based meaning that the data is exchanged automatically in the background without having to be triggered by the user the replication is done by standard BDOC messages the BDOC messages are transformed into standard groupware formats such as iCalendar or vCard by a generic groupware adapter that uses XSLT mapping framework SAP groupware connectors which are separate from the CRM server manage the message synchronization between the CRM server and the groupware server message transfer is performed using XML SOAP interface let us now have a quick look at how activities are configured and what do they look like on the web client UI 
let us now have a look at how activities are customized so we go to SPRO IMG CRM transactions setting for activities so this is where you can maintain a goal or a category or a priority for an activity so you can see the various categories the descriptions the class of the category and this is the icon that appears on the web client against that activity type This is where you assign the categories to the transaction types. So most of the work that we're going to see in the web client would be around business activity, for example. This is where you maintain goals. These goals can be then evaluated in business warehouse to uh, get an idea about the success of the goal and how successful that activities or the series of activities was this is the copy control for activities you do not need to set this up and what happens in that case is all the activities are available to you to be created as follow-on activities however if you do set this up then only the ones that you set up are available and not all this is a new feature in CRM 7 earlier this copying control was not available in some of the earlier releases then you have the definition of activity reasons this is where you can use a multi-tier setup of code groups catalogs profiles and subject profile and this can be quite an involved subject because each level of the multi-level hierarchy of activity reasons needs to be coded and then assigned to a business transaction so let's take a look at what it has so these are the various subject profiles here so let's take a look at this one under this you have the code group for profiles and under the code group profiles you have the actual codes and this code is what is actually selected in the actual transaction for the activity questionnaires this is where you define the questionnaires this transaction takes you to the CRM survey suite and you can define various questions and give them weightages and define them for specific applications so for activities these questionnaires already exist so if you look at uh, one of them for example you'll find this kind of information available in the questionnaire this is where the determination is at the moment it's blank specifically for the business activity this is what it is this is how you determine the questionnaire so the activity is ticked as you can see so this questionnaire the first one cust stat customer survey is assigned to transaction type 0020 which is a business activity with products and we'll see on the web client how this questionnaire appears 
another thing we spoke about was the activity journal this allows you to display product details along with other details additionally on the activity transaction and the important thing for us now is to see how this activity journal is linked to a transaction again it's business activity with products there are some business add-ins available which allow you to enhance the activities based on your own code so this is a high level view of how the customizing for activities works we'll see an activity in the web client now and see how these various uh, elements that we've seen things like the subject profiles the questionnaires and the activity journal actually appear so here we are into the web client and we go to activities now we've seen that the questionnaire and the survey is attached to the activity type business activity with products so let's try to search for some of those activity types so there we have activity type is if you go to the drop down what we need to look for is business activity with products as you can see this is where it is now we search for that and we get quite a few of these activities so let's take a look at this visit media store so this is the structure of the activity as seen in the web client you have notes the importance status category as we saw in customizing these are the partner functions as you know activity is a kind of a transaction but a lighter version and you have scheduling this is like your Microsoft Outlook where you know the people are busy or free at the time that you're planning this activity for this is the activity journal where you should see some product details there you go so these product details so if you want you can insert a product ID just like you do in a standard transaction and in the end you have the questionnaire so we have a customer satisfaction questionnaire attached to this activity let's see what's inside the customer satisfaction questionnaire and you have these questions with answers so the answers can be multiple choice or a drop down entry here customer feedback any comments and the overall so we just go back without saving it so this is what the activity looks like you can see the start date and the end date and this is how various customizing settings that we have seen get reflected on the web client UI another interesting thing about activities is activity scheduling and herein we can automatically schedule mass activities for a number of clients this gives you the option of choosing days and checking the appointments that the customers might already have and so on and so forth so this was about activities in a nutshell Thank you.